welcome back to my channel, my name is Kaman Universe, and your Star Wars quote for today. Obi-Wan. Now that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Today we're going to be reacting to episode 6 of Bad Batch. Just quickly, last week's episode with Crosshairs going on a mission, reuniting with Hunter and Wrecker and Amigo with them all together as well, and Echo. The, the whole episode, it just totally, it worked really well. Finally getting Crosshairs back with the gang and integrated again, and you had a sort of nice moment there with Hunter and Crosshair. Uh, well, nice, nice moments throughout, basically, and to see that sort of full redemption arc come into fruition again, that made me very happy. I was very happy with that. So going on from last week's episode, where I think he's now fully integrated uh, in the Bad Batch after going for a mission with them, I think this one... If I was to predict where this one was going to go, you've got to have Echo and the whole Rex story sort of come about now. For me, this episode can go two ways. It could go on like a separate adventure sort of thing. Uh, or they're like trying to find the location of the facility still. Or Rex is going to come in uh, with Echo because they're obviously doing the sort of trying to look out for the clones and save as many as possible from the Empire. And if they go in that direction, I'm going to be very happy because that's it. If you think about it for the clones that is it once we've done this whole rex thing with bad patch and if they save clones or take on the empire once that that's happened we don't hear about the clones again like on screen uh, after this so whatever they're doing here i want them to make the most out of the clones if this makes sense uh, before we don't really <laughs> really see the clones ever again so to have some sort of redemption for a lot of the clones it, it just makes Order 66 way more impactful, way more tragic and sad for all those involved and the purpose of the clones as well. Like, they are, they were made to be dispensable from Palpatine. Like, he, that was their only purpose, to wipe out the Jedi really and cause chaos uh, and war throughout the galaxy. So, it's, yeah, to have a sort of redemption mission, uh, which is on a large scale, would be awesome. And if it happens in this episode, or will start the, the beginnings of it. Uh, that would be pretty awesome. I hope you've enjoyed the reaction so far with Bad Batch. And let me know all your speculations and thoughts down below. As always, I've really enjoyed reading those and going through them all. I love watching Bad Batch together. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Like these videos to me, I'm not in the YouTube race at all. I'm literally here to just enjoy and do it together. <laughs> yeah, I hope you've been enjoying these reactions. We go to a new planet. It's always a good start for me. Something I want to see is retribution. Is that Rex? Oh, against Sid. <laughs> I love the, that clone voice. Proper clone. <laughs> Proper Django fit. Good to see you again, Rex. This is just going to be like a table full of, full of clones and the clone meetup. Of course. Senator Singh. Thank you. But regional governors. I feel like at this point the Emperor they probably think he's concerned and all that, but he's got force on his side, so literally all the resources, if there's a problem, he just sends them all in. He runs the galaxy through fear now, but then it's a tipping point with the clones as well and the change and exchange of who's actually in his army, so... Well, I want to see some full-on stormtroopers. This is obviously a sort of winter soldier type thing. Stop fights all the time. Nice, nice. Look at that clone efficiency. It's one of those shadows we keep running into. Have Fireball find out what's on it when we get back to base camp. Where is base camp? Hope it's somewhere good.
that's the song. <clears throat> Cross Hurston. No matter what. Creepy. You need to push him harder. Get that inhibitor chip out. The Jedi around the back. You tell us what we need to know. But that wasn't the only person on his list. It's just like you see Rex, you feel like Anakin Skywalker's gonna be with him as well. It's kind of a weird thing that he's he's not there. It's odd. I like that this is literally everyone involved in this episode. You know what ship they need to bring back? It's the Sith Infiltrator Darth Maul. It's, it's somewhere, landed on the boo somewhere. And there it remains, and that would be such a just like old times, huh? <laughs> nice nod. I have unfinished business with this one. Remember me? Surprised I'm alive? <laughs> Most of my squad. We have something to show you. Follow me. It's weird, like seeing crosshead like that. He's like with his scars, like he's been through a lot. It is really creepy what the Omega. Empire's up to. It's a very juicy story. That's perfect. Thank you, Echo. Well, I won't be gone long. I don't know why I just really love. I love that <laughs> the small Star Destroyer, basically a very compact single fighter version. Creepy. Um, yeah, I love the fact that clones have got their own sort of missions going on. I think the tension would be a bit higher if I knew that Crosshairs wasn't with them. It was already one of them, basically. Shut me down. Close fighting close. Your squad may trust you, but I don't. Shut me down. What's going on? Clones the argue Empire's with clones. I don't know what that means, but they were taking blood samples from everyone, even me. Say it. What else can you tell us? We want to be told. <laughs> we want to know. Medichlorians are microscopic life forms that reside in all living things. They live inside us. And we are symbionts with them. With a few of my own spicy modifications. Oh, now you're talking. <laughs> Gregor's the one in Rebels, isn't he? Not all of the clones on Tantus are prisoners. Some are loyal to the Empire. There is... Being defective is in my nature. <laughs> You've encountered one before. The assassin on Coruscant, the operative. Show us. Crosshair's probably just gonna go. <laughs> Such a great story. I'm loving this so much. Send the coordinates and prepare for the recovery strike team. Ooh. The girl must be taken alive. I always see like more I see of this and good Star Wars stuff than I see potential for another character in Battlefront. <laughs> Who's going to be playing the original one when it comes out soon? <laughs> These new clones are so creepy. Honestly, this is so good. I love it. I want to know where Cody is. I thought it'd be an Imperial Star Destroyer. If Hemlock's got all the resources, you'd literally send everyone.
There's the longest pause ever. <laughs> well, there we go. I thought that was a brilliant episode. All throughout, it was just juicy story, juicy action, and seeing all the characters which we love, like Clone Wars and Rebels as well, and Bad Batch and Twine all together. I mean, it's really starting to develop into this big, massive wide scale. I mean, at the start, I said that if Rex turns up, it, you know, it's going to open up this story. And if it, I didn't think it really would be this episode, but they really aren't messing around with what they've got or what they've done so far in this season. The story has been really good. I've loved every moment of it. Seeing the interaction as well with Crosshairs and the other Shadow, Captured Shadow Trooper. There's something so creepy about that. There's something really creepy about that, and I freaking love it. Just seeing the clones sort of that even more or seem even more formidable and evil than the sort of all the clones when they got the Order 66 and the inhibitor chips uh, kicked in. This sort of goes beyond it with Crosshair saying that they're sort of reconditioning or the further conditioning and Crosshair's opening up. It's just all that story I find really captivating and this is a time period which I've always you, you wondered about it with the transition from clones to stormtroopers to me I just thought they were phased out like they, they had an enhanced growth rate and, and that you know they just gradually died off basically it just got taken over by stormtroopers but I never really gave it much in depth thought and now sort of watching it and seeing how in depth everything is and and these characters, and I've started watching Bad Batch from the beginning again, and um, I, I mean, I was ill <laughs> for like, that's why the other episodes didn't get up earlier, um, but I started watching it there with Kane and Jarrus, and, and just on the edge of the Clone Wars, and, and then just because I'm connecting with Bad Batch quite a lot, and I really do love the story at the moment, I'm having a lot of good fun with watching season three, and I think seeing the whole integration from the Order 66 clones to sort of where they are now with Rex and Echo and all the other clones. And I mean, if Cody turns up as well, I mean, what's not to laugh with that? If you've loved Clone Wars for such a long time, which if you're probably watching this, then you probably do and have, then this is a really, really sort of integral uh, story for for the continuation of the Clone Wars and I've always been drawn to Crosshairs for some reason since like season one and there's just something cool about him but to see that redemption thing but when he talks with this as well he's still that sort of cowboy you know calm and collective and just says it how it is sort of thing and and seeing how he, he goes against the Shadow Troopers and the and the tension there as well, where he's just blatantly lying. Or maybe he doesn't know about Crosshair's escaping, I don't know. But I love the other clones' interaction, and no one's sort of quite trusting anyone, except obviously Hunters, and not all the Bad Batch law to each other. It's just, I really like the episode. I think that's definitely worth a rewatch for me. But I didn't even realise two episodes were released today. So we've got another reaction, so we'll keep this one as short as possible, and then I'll try and condense all these down a little bit more. For me, anything that we watch with Star Wars, there's always so much to talk about, and I can really go off on tangents and anything which you might enjoy, I don't know. This episode 6, I thought was pretty amazing. I thought I'd see Rex in there as well. It's it's sad to see him without the generals, you know, it's, it's a weird thing to understand, and... Uh, I mean, maybe Ahsoka's about, I don't know. Is that the actual main facility that all the clones that he's with is at? Because then I didn't see that many clones, but I'm hoping that there's like a an actual facility like Hemlock's got his bad side. Rex has got his sort of good uh, clones and that's where Cody is at the moment. I don't know why, I, I just want to see Cody. I want to see his, Cody in his armour. And I want to hear him talk about Obi-Wan Kenobi or something because that would just be, yeah. I love doing the reactions together. I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this one with me and the other Bad Batch ones as well. If you liked it, subscribe and like and all of that good stuff. Let me know all your thoughts for this episode, what you loved and what you want to see in the next episode. I just hope it's a, a nice continuation of, th of this one and it doesn't go off in a tangent because this story is juicy so far. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Take care of yourself. Remember, the Force will be with you. Oh,